one of the things you got to keep in mind is that who knows what attorney you're going to have to be defending yourself against and what kind of judge you're going to get. So better to be safe than sorry, better to not get sued in the first place. And a way to do that is to do good business, number one, and number two, put yourself in a position to protect yourself because you never know who's on the other side. You never know who might be out to get you and really not anything personal. They're just out to get what you got, but they don't want to do what you did to get what you got. They just want what you got. So, so you, will, you want to set yourself up for success. And let's take a look at a thing called probate. Now probate is the process by which the court system takes the assets of the dead person and distributes them to the rightful living heirs. It sort of sounds like kind of a Robin Hood thing, doesn't it? <laughs> Take from the rich and give to the poor. But what the court system does and all 3,300 counties in our country have a court system or a district system or a circuit system wherein they cover and do probate within that county. And probate is something to be concerned about because it's definitely a, uh, a challenge that happens out here in the real world. And something to be considered is when those assets that could have been protected are not protected, they are subject to taxation. So when they're passing from the dead person to the rightful living heirs, you may think, well, the estate is too small to be taxed. Well, let me tell you something. That is a, uh, a, a, uh, a moving target because it really depends on who is running the show in Congress. And we all know what happened in November and we all know who's in charge right now. Well, you might be interested in knowing that in 1997, those same kind of folks were in charge. And as a result, the estate tax exemption was only $600,000. Well, for some people, think about your parents, think about your grandparents, their single family residential home may be over $600,000. Well, what happened was not, there was an exemption, but anything over that was charged 55%. Now imagine paying taxes all your life and owning things, and then your kids have to pay 55% taxes. Well, there's some people that haven't found a tax they don't like, right? So they take the rob from the rich and uh, supposedly give to the poor, although I'm not convinced of that. So in 1998, it went to 625. In 1999, it went to 650. Then as you can see, it went up and guess who took control of Congress and it started going up dramatically. In fact, um, 2009, it was 3 million 500, 2010, it was 5 million or unlimited. So in other words, uh, George Steinbrenner died that year and had a $2 billion estate and there were no estate taxes because that, it, that was exempted in that particular year. Uh, then it went, uh, as you can see right now, we're looking at about 5,450,000 and anything above that would be about a 40% um, tax rate. So anything above that would be a 40% tax rate. Well, that can be doubled through the use of trusts. That's a pretty cool thing uh, because we've actually got some other things. In fact, let me just um, tell you that not only do we have to worry about federal taxes, but we also have to worry about state taxes because your state may have an estate or inheritance tax. And in fact, there's a couple of states that have both an estate tax and an inheritance tax. So that's not fun, is it? <laughs> And uh, just imagine, as you can see, most of those states are in the Northeast. I don't know where you count Kentucky, uh, but it, it, it above the Mason-Dixon line, um, then uh, you can see where the states have gotten involved in taxing folks. Mm -hmm.